Hi, I'm Mark. Uh, My name's Heather. We're from England and welcome to Weather. Okay guys, this is insane. It is almost 6 a.m. I'm the only one on the restaurant, rooftop restaurant right now. And look, this is my time lapse in this bonsai. It's been sitting here for at least 30 minutes so far. And the clouds are just going crazy all around the city. guys directly from the rooftop restaurant in mm. <laughs> so, lost. We're so excited this view is absolutely amazing we're early in the morning we just saw the sunrise from our second floor uh, bed it's just absolutely beautiful uh, today we're taking the train from Kendi to Ella it's supposed to be the most epic train ride ever um, because that's we're going, a big assumption eh? but that's how it's qualified and we're going through the uh, hills uh, with, plantation, with tea plantation and everything is supposed to be absolutely amazing so as you guys know everybody wants to do this train ride so it's very difficult to get reserve seat tickets they are the reserve seats for first class and second class and they go on sale 30 days in advance and they're usually sold out within um, hours of it going on sale and sometimes uh, you can get them up to a week before but if you were like us a little bit last minute to decide on which day you want to go um, it was really really hard to get tickets uh, our driver uh, Tarindu was able to connect us to one of his friends who had the extra tickets um, that uh, resell we sold them to us uh, however if you are um, you do have a connection to find tickets uh, you have to expect to pay a little extra because uh, like I said those tickets are sold out so um, it's very normal that you will pay an extra fee uh, for that so you can order them in advance if you are a little bit more prepared than we are um, the one to, uh, one to go Asia uh, will sell them and there are several other sites I can put them um, put the link up for you guys in the description box uh, you are paying a premium for the transaction fees because the, the the train company is not selling any tickets online directly so you they will have to book your tickets for you and go get it at the counter um, so yeah you do a, you pay a little premium but the tickets are uh, ranging from 400 uh, rupees to a thousand rupees for first class so they're really not that expensive to start with um, so this is our physical tickets so you have here uh, a reserve seats, it's SCR, meaning second class reserve seats. We have the 38 and 37 here. Um, the M, it's not the train number, it's the, uh, it means that it was reserved with Mobitel, which is the uh, phone service company here. Um, and then you have, uh, that's the price. So it says Candy. it's normal that it says Badula because it's the end of the line. And then uh, it arrived at Candy at 11.10. There are two trains that go through, one at 8 um, something and one at 11.10. And then you see here that time is the time it departs from Colombo. So it's also normal that you have another time on there. We were a little bit confused when we got it. So that's like the golden ticket. So we don't have to be standing for uh, seven seven, hours. Seven, six, seven hours in a train because that's what happened when you don't have a reserved seat. Uh, you're literally standing and squished into a train cabin um, because they will sell as many tickets 
as they physically can as people are willing to buy. So that's a really nice thing to be prepared for and get your tickets in advance. It's a lot of information before breakfast, but trust me, uh, take what she says uh, as gold. I mean, uh, we were so stressed out just for the idea of standing in the train, no seats for seven hours. That's it's like, wow, we were so happy to get this ticket. Yeah, that's the one I told you we have to taste. It's a bit sour, that's why they're gonna bring sugar. But from the outside, it looks like a rotten coconut, but apparently the taste is very special. Either you love it or you hate it. Oh, like a durian. Yes. It's very sour. It's, it smells sour. I've never tried it with apple before. I apparently have to put sugar. Let's try this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mmm, it's really, well, I love sour, so it's really, really good with the sugar. It's like a banana texture because it's um, pasty a little bit and uh, it's sour at the same time. A very strong um, taste of sour afterward. Try it, babe. It's really good. Blah. You have to mix the sugar. It's very sour. Sour and a bit bitter. Yeah, it's like a sour it's banana. It's like ch Chinese medicine also. <laughs> it tastes like this. Chinese medicine? Yeah, it's a bit okay. bitter. All right, it's time for us to leave and say bye-bye to this beautiful Airbnb. Thank you very much. You were very kind.
Airbnb. We chose to go with a tuk tuk even though we were super squished because there was only one guy that has a car and he was super aggressive and super annoying and he wanted to charge us extra 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 and you know how I am very stubborn and I get very annoyed with people like that. So I decided to risk our lives <laughs> yeah. and squish into a tiny tuk tuk. Yeah, we were like squish ball you into a, a really small bad jar. Decision. But we survived, so we're here. Welcome to our Airbnb in Ella. I chose this one because the breakfast is gonna be outside tomorrow with an absolutely amazing view. But you guys will have to wait until tomorrow to see that because now it's sundown. You see we have a very clean, beautiful bed, coffee machine, coffee, TV, but who watch TV when you're in Ella, right? Uh, fridge. Uh, again, this is the balcony, but you don't see anything. We have a huge balcony outside. And then uh, you have a kind of outdoorsy um, style. This is like half outdoor because those open to the outside. No. Really? I think so, yeah. So, so now, for now, we're gonna go find something to eat? Yes, we're gonna head into town. Uh, apparently, everybody recommended this place called Chill Restaurant and Bar. It's open until midnight. It's now 6.30, we're gonna enjoy some supper and have a really yeah. early night in because we're waking up at 4.30 tomorrow for the hike of Little Adam's Peak. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.